This is absolutely the new way I'm going to be controlling the lighting effects on my peripherals, on my PC, all that stuff via this voice assistant. This is lovely. It makes it so much easier to quickly change a lighting effect. You just say a command and it happens. The people over at Razer have released a brand new update to the latest version of Razer Synapse 3 that adds Amazon ALEXA integration directly into Razer Synapse. Fun fact, back in 2018, Thermaltake actually did a similar thing where they had a skill that you can enable for ALEXA that allowed you to control the RGB lighting on your Thermaltake fans, coolers, peripherals, etc. Basically, you would have to use an Amazon Echo speaker of some sorts to change the LED lighting of your PC. Razer's partnership with Amazon's voice assistant, however, is the first of its kind, where Amazon's ALEXA is integrated into someone else's software suite, in this case, that being Razer Synapse 3, ALEXA module that you can download. This enables users to do much more than just control LED lighting. You can launch applications like your web browser, even shut down your PC. I'll cover a bunch of the cool commands in just a second. And you don't even have to buy a dedicated Amazon Echo speaker. It's already built into the program. Just download a module within Razer Synapse 3. I'll show you how to set the whole thing up, how to link your Amazon account, all that stuff in just a minute. But this new update to Razer Synapse 3 is genuinely Pretty damn sick. Not only will there be voice commands allowing you to change the lighting effects of your peripherals, your Razer hardware, plus Razer do work with all sorts of smart home partners already. LifeX, Philips Hue, Nanoleaf, to name a few. Razer already work with a lot of smart home companies and them making this move finally integrating Amazon ALEXA within Razer Synapse 3, I think it's pretty cool. I'm a fan of smart home stuff, I have a lot of it. We got some color lights back there. I own Nanoleafs, I own a ton of Philips Hue lights. I like my smart home stuff, so finally being able to control the RGB lighting effects not only of my smart home devices but also now my PC hardware as I've kind of always wanted this type of functionality anyway. So the fact that Razer has actually announced their partnership with Amazon and they released this feature makes me very happy. You'll finally be able to control the RGB lighting effects of all your peripherals as well as your smart home stuff like you know a pair of nano leafs or a Philips Hue light strip any of that type of stuff, and you can change the color of all this stuff with just one command, which before was never possible. So the fact that this is happening is pretty damn sick. All right, let's hop on the PC behind us and get this whole thing set up. Do I have OBS running? I do, right? Let's switch to this scene and open up Razer Synapse 3.0. So we got Philips Hue here, but uh, actually I've not installed that module. Boom, I just pressed install for uh, Amazon ALEXA. If you're wondering how I even got here in the first place, if you press on Synapse up here, then press on Modules, here you can install a bunch of cool modules like Nanoleaf, Philips Hue, even a Chroma Visualizer. But what we need is Amazon ALEXA. Is it restarting Synapse or is it restarting... Okay, it's restarting Synapse, not my PC. I got worried there for a second. I thought it was gonna restart my PC but it's luckily just restarting Synapse instead. So once you've downloaded the new module, press on it and then press login with Amazon. Simply log in with your normal Amazon account. And that's the wrong password. Let's do it, man. Ooh, okay. Amazon ALEXA is here. Uh, skills, what do we have here? Ooh, okay, so we've got basic lighting controls, chroma lighting controls. You can even, all right, launch applications, multimedia controls, and you can shut down, lock your PC via an Amazon command. These are genuinely very cool features, especially the fact that it's not just LED lighting control. It's a lot more than that. You can launch applications via your voice, change the volume via your voice. You can shut your whole PC down via your voice. How sick is this? If only you could also boot it back up via your voice. That's the next thing we need. Now this should work with any microphone. Uh, input device, Siren X, that's what we want. Language, United Kingdom, just so we can better understand my accent probably. Tell Razer to set my chroma lighting to spectrum cycle. Will that work? I have no idea. I've never tried this before. <gasps> God damn, it works. That's pretty cool. I like that. What if we also want to control the lighting effects of our PC internals, all right? Tell Razer to set my chroma lighting to white. Will that work? I want everything to be white. Okay, changing chroma lighting to white. <gasps> See, this is what I mean. Everything is white, apart from that team group SSD that refuses to actually stay one color. 
it likes to be RGB, all right? You can try set it to a static color, but after a couple seconds, best believe it's gonna be back on this RGB mode because it don't care what lighting effects you wanna set it to. Tell Razer to set my chroma lighting to spectrum cycling, please. Ooh. So it takes a couple of seconds, but voila, we have the peripherals synced up with everything inside of our PC. It's beautiful. So these commands right here are pretty cool, I must say, and they work very well. Like just a couple second delay, obviously for, you know, the servers and communication, all this stuff. This is actually so sick. Even my headset lighting is synced up with the PC and everything just via voice command. This is awesome. So lighting effects are all possible and they're pretty cool. How about, yeah, we try to launch an application. Supported application include web browser, media player, task manager. Tell Razer to open task manager. Please. Oh, it did it, man. It just launched task manager. How sick. Okay, okay. Tell Razer to change volume to 50%. I'm expecting this to go boop. Oh, it did. God damn. All right, all right. Now for the grand finale, okay, the grand finale. Did Synapse crash? What happened to Synapse there? It actually turned off. Um, nice. Now what's cool is that you actually don't have to have Synapse open in order to use Amazon ALEXA through your PC via your microphone, obviously. You can just press Control Shift A as that's the command I've set it to. Tell Razer, shut down my PC. Oh, <gasps> you are about to be signed out. Shutting down. That works. That actually works. But can you boot it up? No, you can't. Not yet. Hopefully soon, that's going to become a thing. Just imagine turning your PC on via your voice. That is what we need. I think it'd be pretty simple to do. Surely it can't be that hard to make that a feature. We need like a smart power button on all PC cases. Some company out there, come on, get on this. Give us like a smart Wi-Fi power button that is connected with Amazon ALEXA. You can turn your PC on via your voice, dude. How sick would that be, man? Someone out there, get on this. Wi-Fi enabled PC case, that is what we need. All right, we're back in Synapse. There's the module, there's the skills, there's the settings. Now, I expect there to be more and more skills constantly added. This is gonna probably be a feature that Razer are gonna continue to improve and make better and better. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below about this new Razer Synapse update. Is this a feature you're gonna be using yourself? Do you even care about Amazon ALEXA integration? I don't know, let me know in the comment section down below. But personally, this is a feature I am very happy about. It works well, I like that I can change lighting effects and do all sorts of other stuff like shut down my whole PC via a voice command. This is absolutely the new way I'm gonna be controlling the lighting effects on my peripherals, on my PC, all that stuff via this voice assistant. This is lovely, it makes it so much easier to quickly change a lighting effect. You just say a command and it happens. And one more thing just before we end the video, Games are also going to support this new integration. So you're going to be able to use your Amazon ALEXA voice assistant to do stuff in certain games because of Razer's partnership with Amazon here. Certain games, I don't know what games are gonna support this type of thing or what you're even gonna be able to do in these games via your voice assistant, but it's gonna be a thing. And when a game does eventually support this type of thing, I'm gonna try you know, make a video about it. Uh, what I kind of thought of in my head is, let's say you're playing like the new GTA 6 game and you're driving a car and you can ask your voice assistant in game, that voice assistant being Amazon ALEXA via this Razer integration. Let's say you're playing GTA 6, you're driving around first person view in a car and you can ask your voice assistant to let's say play a different song in your car, in game. I think that would be cool, but I don't know. I don't really know what kind of commands are gonna be possible via a virtual assistant in a game, doing stuff for you in game. I think it's pretty cool. We'll see what happens, we'll see what comes of it. But like I said, at the moment, I don't know a single game that actually supports this type of thing. So we'll have to wait and see what comes out. But when a game does eventually support this type of feature, I'd definitely like to demo it on the channel. Check it out, see what's kind of possible. Apart from all that though, thank you all so much for watching. Link in description down below to everything in the setup in case you want to go buy it yourself. The TechBlock website is nearly here. The 24th of April is our launch date. You can buy the merch. The RGB Culture t-shirts will be available alongside Does It Have RGB, TechBlock Drip, TechBlock Core Edition merch, 
There's so many cool designs on the site, plus we're going to have a bunch of the setup gear listed on the website as well. So it's going to be so exciting, I can't wait for you guys to actually see the site. I've been building the site myself, it's coming out soon, only around 7 or 8 days left until the launch date. But yeah, I'm going to get going. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye. Thank you.